The event is a day's exhibition um, covering the various aspects of, of language and linguistics. It's divided up into all the relevant categories that it falls into. Um, so it's quite an interactive, there's desks you can sit at, um, listen to clips about languages um, and understand the concept behind that category. This was a public lecture uh, under the Being Human programme and this was about uh, bilingualism. It was the workshop about the usage of metaphors. Well, I have just, you know, uh, attended a workshop of metaphors, uh, which was really good. Uh, I am fond of reading books, of poetry and of literature, so I think that the, the issue of the workshop was, is really useful when we teach languages because metaphors so are in poems, in any kind of writing issue that we do with our students. Uh, I know the University of Kent are involved and it's part of the Being Human Festival which I found on Twitter. Uh, the friend that I was here with uh, told us about it and the friend has in common the fact that she's bringing up a bilingual child and I and my wife are bringing up a bilingual child. Yeah, the event today specifically was through Twitter. Um, I started following the Human Festival and noticed the events that were more local to me so I came along to this one. Conducting some brief interviews with people who have come to the exhibit. Um, so, just uh, a couple of short questions for you. First of all, um, what made you decide to come in today to the exhibit? Well, it's also because well, I had a language um, about two weeks ago. Oh, we have you just yeah. done a, a European Languages Day for us. And um, there were like Chinese, um, Russian. Sign language and like Romanian and stuff like that. Wow. Um, the fact that it was a Sunday was because um, I worked full time, so it was easy to get to, um, and it was an interactive thing. Um, I knew it'd be a chance to find out quite broadly about the different topics. I thought it helped with the degree that I was in English language and linguistics. I thought it'd be a good start with phonology. Uh, it was. Um, the, the lecture was delivered in a way that I uh, could understand. I'm not a linguist at all. I have no linguistic qualification or study background. And it was very accessible and very interesting. I pretty much would say that, you know, the way we have the language really, you know, alive here and the people from many countries and so we can keep our English up. And the fact that it was so interesting and you got your brain working and you know you had stuff to do. Great. It was interesting. Oh, that's a tricky question. Uh, probably thinking, probably doing the light bulb one. I like the fact that it's um, the information is shared in a variety of different ways. You know, so you've got things you can watch, things you can read. Yeah. It's, it's nicely hands-on, so it's it's a good variety. Um, I like the, it's quite informal, um, there's people around to chat to about the different topics um, and I like the fact that you can find out more or less if you want to um, and pick and choose the, the areas that you think about. Uh, that it's very interactive, with a lot of people to ask questions to. What do you like about it? got lots of things to do. The interactivity of the computer presentation. Uh, what was interesting to me was that this field of bilingualism, which, there's so many anecdotal stories about uh, bilingualism and children of bi in a bilingual setting, but actually that there's so much research to be done. And if you looked at the questions afterwards, like on autism, for example, uh, how important the area is. Well, it made me think the veins are very complicated per thing in your body. Oh, out of everything, I don't know, all of it. I've got something from, from each part of it. Um, it's quite interested in the, the brain side of it and how it's processed, um, but also the more social side and how it developed 
very early communities as well. Yes, uh, quite a lot. I've made three pages of notes and the most important thing is our three and a half year old child is confusing the two languages a bit at the moment and I wondered if that was a problem. She actually confuses them in a very logical way. She uses patterns from one language in the other language and what was said today was that it's not a problem, it's actually a skill and that the mixing occurs according to rules. So that was fascinating and very supportive for us. Oh yes, you know, like, you know, this workshop about metaphors is always, you know, the, this kind of, of course, that we can learn more common sayings and uh, phrases. Yeah. And even, you know, as I have said before, it's, for me, it's poet. Um, we learned yeah. I've learned from people um, in, in the brain area that's broken one man um, could only say one word at a time. Uh, yes, lots, uh, which I can't think of now, but some of the facts and figures about the language families and the number of languages spoken in the world um, and the, the construction of it. The speech impediments that I didn't know about before. So I did language, like acquisition at A level, but it's far more detailed. Yes, I, I planned. Well, I, pl I planned to go uh, tell my wife about the three pages of notes I've made, and talk a bit more about some of the ideas, the need for more interaction in the minority language. So it's very personal, and we'll have a look at the website and and see what's going on there. Well, I I actually plan, you know, to to show my students in Spain you know, a little bit of what I have learned here. And so, as a student, so, I just wish to share, you know, things that I have learned here. Find out more about the brain, how it works, and learn different languages. Um, and probably about the neck and ear as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely find out more about it. It's something I've been interested in for a while, but I haven't really looked into. Um, potentially going to an open day at the University of Kent to find out a little bit more about the modules. Um, See if there's anything that might fit in with my, my life. Uh, probably going to talk on Wednesday. Well, I do want to go home and research about more about um, the speech impediments, and I want to look forward into that into the future. So maybe my second year looking at like speech impediments, or maybe language acquisition, or deaf oh. children. I might look into the baby. I found that really interesting. Mm. Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> all about reach programs because it, it's um, all about accessing knowledge and they're really in the community. Oh, it's a fantastic idea because um, it promotes the humanities, these subjects uh, that, that are so important, very valuable and you can see how much this was appreciated by the audience. Every questioner thanked the lecturer because it was so interesting and stimulating. Wonderful that it's free so I'm very grateful.